Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to delete, how to remove your cache or your cache from your Mac OS High Sierra. This is a bunch of files that are sitting on your Mac around preferences and safe settings for your Mac applications and configuration and removing them can you know, sometimes increase the speed and it's also good maybe just clear it up from time to time. So let's look at how to do it right now. So let's look at how to remove your cache or your cache from your Mac. I will warn you before we commence, be very, very careful when you are removing your cache because removing some things that you may not know could cause problems around applications that you may have that you know require particular saved information. So just be very, very mindful when you are removing any cache or cache from your Mac. So two things that you can do. You need to locate the, uh, the library folder which you can do through the finder by going into go, into go to folder, or you can open up the terminal. We're gonna cover both of those very, very briefly, but essentially on the newer version of High Sierra, um, the library folders are um, hidden, right? The, 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 the content is not visible to the end user. Apple has removed that functionality more just as a security concern around users maybe removing things in there that they don't know what they are. So it's really just more a precautional thing. So from within here, you go into go, go to folder, and there are two areas that we want to look up um, to delete files. Uh, there are your use, the, the, you've got your user folder, so your particular user folder, if your name is John Smith, you've got your John Smith folder forward slash library. You can access that by doing the little tilde, forward slash library, forward slash, and that will open up that folder. Or you can just look up straight forward slash library forward slash and say go and you'll find that already that is empty it's not actually empty there is files in there but they are hidden by apple your other one around your user folder will look something like this you locate your caches or caches folder all right you'll see all of your files are in here and then you literally select the files that you want to delete the folders that you want to delete and click on your trash if you want to delete them all you select them all by doing Command A and click on your trash. In some scenarios, some files may have this particular folder locked. So after you have trashed them, you find that you may not be able to empty your trash because your Mac will require a restart. So you require a restart before it gets fully, you know, before your cache or your cache is fully, fully deleted. I personally like to do a lot of this through the terminal because it's a little bit more cleaner and remove some of the issues around, you know, having to put in a password here, having to do this there. And, you know, especially around the, um, this particular area here being empty. So keep that in mind, all right? So do it through the finder or you can do it through terminal. You can access terminal from, uh, I've got it in my dock, but you can generally access it by going into the spotlight area and typing in terminal or through your Finder Applications Utilities folder, it's located in there also. I've opened this up. You'll see that by default, it's gone to my home drive, okay? So my Aguero Mac, which is the name of my Mac. Emilio is the name of my home drive. And I can just do an LS to list all of the, all of the directories. And you'll see straight in here, I've got library, all right? I can change directory to library, LS to see the contents. And then in here, you'll see the folder that we need, change directory. And then here you'll see all of the folders and files that are residing inside your caches folder. From within this area, you literally just do some simple commands around remove. You can do an RM, capital R, and then the name of the particular folder. Let's say com apple dot tour and just do tab to automatically resolve that for you enter and that will remove that particular file okay you can then do other files as well all right so you can literally go through this area find the folders the cache the cache or cache folders that you no longer need select them and delete them from here the other area is from the very the very root of your mac okay so you've got this little forward slash here Less, you're now at the very bottom area. So before we were within users 
and then inside of your user drive, your, your home drive. But from within here, you'll also see that I've got library listed, change directory library, tab, enter, ls. This is the contents of that library and you'll see that there's another caches folder. And these are the files within here. Similarly, you do an rm forward r to force a directory to be deleted. All right, select that, throw it in there and delete. You may need to reboot your Mac as I said, but again, be very, very mindful when you are deleting your cache or your cache from your Mac as uh, it will you know, remove configuration and save settings potentially from your Mac. So that is my summary. Please comment below if you found this helpful. I would love to know your thoughts. It also helps me to grow my channel and let me know if you guys are happy with the content that I'm producing. We'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.